headlines from Cheddar News. T-Mobile's acquiring budget-friendly wireless provider Mint Mobile. This is a deal worth up to $1.35 billion. Now, you might know Mint Mobile from commercials featuring actor Ryan Reynolds, who owns part of the company. T-Mobile said in a statement the company will benefit from Mint Mobile's successful direct-to-consumer business. Meanwhile, Kellogg says their snack business will now be called Kellanova, and that unit will include snacks like Pringles, Cheez-Its, Cars Crackers, and more. This unit will retain that K stock ticker as well. Kellogg's North American Cereals Unit now will be called WK Kellogg Company. And Google announcing a new set of artificial intelligence features for their various workspace apps. The tools include the option to automatically generate drafts based on prompts in Docs and Gmail. It'll also allow the ability to auto-generate images, auto, audio, video, and presentations and more all in slides. And that's your Cheddar News Update. I'm Baker Machado coming to you from Cheddar Studios in New York City. I'll bet you Mike and Fiona can name all the planets. Oh, I bet you they can. They are brilliant. And they Mercury, are Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Y'all, I stand next Pluto. to this nerd every day. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> okay. That's all not right. what I was going to talk about now. <laughs> well, one man's trash can be someone else's treasure. Yep, and Tia Sanderson from Transcendental uh, Creative is here. And what do you what do you take in? What's the trash that you use? Um, so I find scraps from larger scale artists, and I basically utilize them all to make jewelry. And so I do barrettes, I do clips, necklaces, I do beautiful earrings, yeah. and you become walking artwork. Yeah, exactly. You become the walking piece of art with mm -hmm. my jewelry. We're going to show you this and where you can find it as well. And Java Jen's brewing somewhere. Today on SA Live, we take you to the newest pink coffee shop near Stone Oak Parkway. We're getting a sample of all the fun inspired drinks. And we are featuring a few reptiles from, of course, the Texas Reptiles Expo's latest menagerie. Our dear friend Blaine Eaton is at the other end of the table with the snake. <laughs> what you got going on this weekend? Well, this weekend at the Lions Club in McQueenie is uh, Texas uh, Reptile Expo. Okay. You can find a variety of reptiles that make good pets, uh, lizards, turtles, tortoises, snakes. These are forever pets, they're not a throwaway pet. And we're going to meet some of them coming up in just a few minutes. That and a whole lot more. All right, warm and muggy out there today. And then those changes move in overnight. Rain and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong, potentially even severe possible before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. And then colder and windy by tomorrow morning as well. We'll keep eyes on that weekend forecast. Overall, colder than average. First day of spring next Monday, not really feeling like it. But we'll start to see those spring-like conditions return by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, guys. Stay with us on air and online. All right. You know what they say. I think we heard it. One man's trash is another man's treasure. And our treasure is always Mike and Fiona. Oh, that's, that's good, so huh? sweet. That's good. Yeah. It's your live stars, right? No. <laughs> Pink Cappuccino, it's the newest coffee shop in San Antonio. Rating a taste of the menu. Cheers. Plus, we hit the red carpet for another South by Southwest premiere. This time, we chat with actor Bob Odenkirk about his new show. And where the family can have a scaly good time with lizards and snakes. Yeah, sounds like fun. Uh, we feature new animals from the Texas Reptile Expo. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hey everybody, I'm Stephanie Montiel. And I'm Cesar Omar. We're here at the Hana Music Fanfare, downtown San Antonio Market Square. And you're watching SA, SA Live. Live. Oh, hello and happy Thursday. I'm Mike Ostrage, and you can tell us there's something big going on down here at Market Square because, boy, it's almost like there's fiesta out here oh, with no. all the booths set up and everything. Big uh, weekend coming up. Yes, I'm Fiona Gorsi. Of course, yes, the Tejano Music Festival is going to be go is going on right now um, outside. But our first guest today is trying upcycling glass and other materials into beautiful, as you can see right there, works of art. These are absolutely gorgeous. Joining us with these colorful pieces of jewelry is Tia Sanderson, owner of Transcendental Creative. Welcome. Hi. They, I mean, even the pictures we just showed there, and it's right in front of us, these are so pretty. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I take a lot of 
glass from larger scale artists and shops here in town and I like to make art out of it. I like to make you the walking art piece. So that's what I'm doing with all of this jewelry here. So somebody who might be doing like a giant stained glass window for somebody and they've got the little pieces around here, which mm -hmm. a lot of folks might think, okay, this is just scrap. Yes. But again, so it's no, not. No, it's no, no, it's not. It is not scrap. <laughs> it is more than that. Okay, and we are going to be trying to do a couple of earrings, right? Mm -hmm. And what's Mike doing over here? So Mike has the copper foil and he has mm -hmm. some raw pieces of glass that I've made a little bit less sharp around the edges, so mm -hmm. be careful with that. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay. Um, and he's going to be trying to put copper foil tape around each of those pieces of glass. I have some pieces that have copper foil on them already and some pieces that are soldered as well, which I... It's, I put, do the entire process myself from copper foiling all the way up until actually building the jewelry itself. And, and okay. who, whoever invented this copper foil, man, that's great <laughs> stuff because that's as simple as it is and it's, it's uh, sticky on one side and you just mush it all down and then solder these pieces together? Yes. So. Um, after I do that, I you have to press down on each piece of the copper foil to make sure it's adhered to the glass properly. Mm -hmm. So once you do that, you put flux on it and then you do a solder. Um, I use lead-free solder because stained glass normally uses leaded solder. Um, and I just want to be safe for everybody and have a product that everyone can wear. And I'm going to say, you know, of course these are upcycled, you know, materials, so no piece will be exactly the same. Each piece is truly unique. Yes, all glass is different and that's what inspires a lot of the work that I do. I mean, just, just look at the earrings she has mm -hmm. on right now. I mean, one blue, one red, those triangles. How cool is that? And especially you think about Fiesta coming up mm -hmm. and everything's colorful and it's big and bright and mm -hmm. then the, the hair piece you have. And if you could just turn your head just a little bit right there, hold real still for a second and you can see that. And also I want to point out here are a couple, you know, just that simple little accent thing. These are the ones that really caught my eye. Not only the mirrors, but then look, look at that. Look, look, did you see that shine? Yeah. Do it again. Right Do it there. Again. <laughs> Do it again. Right there. Yeah. Right you were getting it. I know. Look at how it I catches know. the light. And that's the thing, right? Is mm -hmm. that I mean, it really does catch the light. It does. Yes. Everything refracts in a different mm -hmm. way. Um, with the pair that you're holding right there, it actually refracts three different colors, and it also acts as a mirror. So that's the fun part about that pair. Um, I like to work with new collections all the time. So I have a spring collection right mm -hmm. here. That's going to be a bunch of honeycombs and cool textured stuff. Um, and, oh. and then also bigger pieces like this one too. Yes, so I do commissions for um, small companies here in town. Uh, this is a commission for a tattoo company called Holly. And Holly means roots in Chamorro, which is from Guam. That's where I came from. So I get a lot of my inspiration for my art there as well. Okay, and not only jewelry pieces or pieces like that, but, oh. Mike, this is your cue. This is my cue. Okay. <laughs> so look, we have a simple little night light right here and turn it on. Look at how cool that is. I love that. You know, it's your own little just either, and you said it kind of reminded you of a Rubik's cube. This, did, yes, a little <laughs> bit. Know? Or, I mean, even like a little sun catcher yes. type, like we have hanging up right there. Now, can, can folks order custom made things? Yes. So I am open for custom commissions for sun catchers mm -hmm. and night lights. Um, and then for earrings, I kind of play around with that. So as long as you're open to what you're getting right. and receiving, it's going to be very different from something that you want if you want it so specific. It's going to be different because I only utilize the scrap glass, so it's all, all unique. And, and you also at a pop-up tonight, yes. as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I'll be at the Elsewhere Outdoor Bar and Garden uh, over off of Jones Street and um, Avenue B, mm -hmm. but I'll be there from 5 to 11. Uh, so you can got, you guys can catch me there. And tell folks where they can find you online. Um, online, you can buy any of this stuff at transcendentalcreative.com or you can find me on Instagram with uh, the Transcendental Creative. I love All these right. with the, the, hoop, the hoop around them like that. That's so cool looking. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. For more information on Transcendental Creative, just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab 
or just scan that QR code on your screen. Love doing hobbies kind of like this or something mm -hmm. you can do inside and just kind of hunker down with the fire going because- You always have a project going on. <laughs> that's true, but- Sometimes it, several at once. This weekend, it should be something indoors because it's gonna be cold and rainy. So we wanna know, what do you like to do on those cold, rainy weekends? Is it, you know, watch movies? Yes! Stay in your pajamas all weekend? Yes! We know what Fiona's <laughs> gonna be doing this weekend. So. <laughs> you know, you will probably be working on one of your projects. I, you, That's you, indoors. I, I know you. I know you. I so don't. let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter what you like to do when it's cold and rainy. And I know you'll probably do soup as well. Oh, grilled cheese and soup. That's yes, it. indeed. Know, and perhaps it. a warm cup of coffee. <laughs> yes. Nice segue right here. There's always it's good when it's cold, and there's a new coffee spot in town making everyone feel pretty in pink with their flower-inspired fa flavors. Yes, there may be 50 shades of pink in there, and our Jen Tobias Strasky had to go give us an inside perk because, you know, it's more than just Java. It's the newest coffee shop in the San Antonio area, only been open for a little over a month. Today, we take you to Pink Cappuccino. There's pastries, crepes, coffee, and of course, the signature color inside, pink. But before you order your pink cappuccino, you definitely want to step on the 360 photo booth. here with Roxana Jimenez, the owner here at Pink Cappuccino. Such a beautiful place you have here. Thank you for having me. Hello. This place is your dream, yes, right? This is a Pink Cappuccino. It's my dream that I want uh, to come to feel like a queen, like a, like your home. Yes. But I have a different drink for you, like pink, like a strawberry, mm -hmm. cherry, roses, mm -hmm. that you feel like in Paris. You oh, know. <laughs> I love that, yes. But I have a signature drink, the uh, pink uh -huh. cappuccino. Right here, we have that one. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, with different flavor, but I have a uh, cheesecakes, pink crepes, bubble waffles, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. many desserts for you. And the tea that and we have. is a tisana, it's a gourmet tea. Ooh. You can eat the fruit. You can actually eat that, right? Yeah, sure. And it smells amazing. <laughs> And uh, here I have a what do you have glam there? ice pink latte. Uh -huh. So it's uh, that one is raspberry flavor I with a shot of espresso. Ooh. It's just so pretty with the pink. Yeah. So you, that's why you go with the raspberry, the strawberry, the rose, Roses, all with the pink. Right? Yes, all pink. And I have a uh, different luxury for press. Yeah, the cotton candy, bubble gum, is pink off. And I heard you even have a pink stuffed croissant. Is yes, right? oh. <laughs> I have a different croissant uh, with strawberries or savory, uh -huh. yeah, chicken salad or turkey with cheese. Okay, so savory options, sweet options, but again, all with a little hint of pink to make you feel like a queen. Yes, like that. a queen, and you can <laughs> take a lot of pictures here, yes. like photos with 360 yes. booth. It's very Instagram worthy, right? Yes. You come in here and snap photos everywhere. I think I'm gonna do that next. Yes, <laughs> you can follow us in Instagram, like uh, Pink Cappuccino LLC. Okay. So. Come here and feel like cat queen. Yes, okay, I love that, love that. Now, um, do you have a favorite drink on the menu that you like? Yeah, I have my favorite, is a caramel, but I, uh, caramel latte, uh, but yeah. the foam is pink. Of course, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yes. And you change yes. the, the drink sometimes for the season, right? Like for Yeah, like uh, St. Patrick is all green, the bubble waffles, the crepes, and different drinks. Like uh, Alegria, oh, there sparking we go. soda. All right, something for everybody, all different ages. Bring the kids. Um, again, just a fun time. Come feel like a queen or king, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, cheers. I'll give you a little hand. Cheers. Cheers. had a wonderful time here at Pink Cappuccino. Be sure to come visit and support this local business. They're located off 1604 in between Blanco and Stone Oak. 
Parkway. Be sure to follow them on their social media for updates on their seasonal drinks. This signature drink is sticking around though. They're open seven days a week, so come and enjoy. For more information, head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan that QR code on your screen. Cheers. You know, you can reserve pink cappuccino for your next pink-inspired event, baby showers, bridal showers, or even birthday parties. My wife would love that place because that's her favorite color is pink. <laughs> she needs to go there. All right, still ahead when SA Live continues. Oh boy, look, we have snakes. It's your favorite. Yay! It's your favorite. I knew it was going to be a good day. I think our producers don't like me. We have a few reptiles from the Texas Reptile Expo's latest coming up this weekend. And we have a chat with actor Bob Odenkirk on the red carpet about his new show that just premiered at South by Southwest. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's that time of year when Hollywood celebrities, filmmakers, artists, musicians all flood to the Lone Star State, specifically about an hour north of here up in Austin. The South by Southwest Festival is happening this week, and our SA Live team caught a few red carpet premieres. <laughs> yes, they got to chat with Bob Odenkirk, who you may know from Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, and others from the cast and crew of the new TV show called Lucky Hank, which premieres on TV this weekend. <laughs> Professor, you barely said anything in an hour and a half. You? You're here! The fact that you're here means you show very little promise. Did that sound harsh? I'll smile through the rest of this. You are here at Railton College, mediocrity's capital! So where'd you guys get the uh, inspiration for this story? What? How did you come up with it? Well, this is based on a book uh, from Richard Russo uh, in, from the late uh, 90s um, uh, called Straight Man. So Lucky Hank is based on Straight Man, uh, about a college professor who is kind of um, uh, transition, going through a transition in his life and working his way through it. If this does well, are you guys expecting to kind of extend it to more seasons, or is it just a one and done, this is the story wrapped up kind of thing? No, no, this is a hope for a series, the ongoing series, yeah. Uh, did you guys, as far as the book being based on the book, did you come up with a little more ridiculous scenarios to put Bob in, or did you just kind of, I don't know, just stick to the book? I don't know. There's some pretty ridiculous scenarios in the book. I, you know, it's one of the fun things about the book. It's a, it's a mix of some, at times, real like hilarious slapstick humor. Uh, uh, but uh, mostly, uh, underneath all that is is a much more grounded character study. And um, what's fun is uh, to be able to kind of show a college professor in, in that light. To be also be able to you know be a silly kind of uh, guy, I think it's very relatable. Uh, so you're the wife in the show. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your character, what her role in the show is? Yeah. Um, what Aaron and Paul said to me when I signed on for this was, it's very, very, very important to us that she's not just the wife in the show, which of course makes all the difference. Um, and I, I knew I wanted to be in it no matter what, because their writing is so incredible and articulate, and Bob Odenkirk, obviously, is incredible. Um, but I was so thrilled to hear that, because you know, you just read the pilot, you don't know exactly where it's going. And their commitment to her journey as her own individual person, who, you know, the show is about Hank and his midlife crisis, but it's just as much about Lily, like in the midst of his crisis, like trying to reframe and being like, and what about me and my journey? And how does that fit in? And so you really watch these two people trying to like sort it out. Does, do, does she have a job in, in the yeah. show? Yeah, she she's a vice principal at the local high school in this tiny town where they live. Gotcha. Had you read the book before you? I had not. I read the book this uh, Lucky Hank is based on is called Straight Man. It's from Richard Russo. It was written in 1997. Um, I had not read it until I read the pilot. Were there any professors there that you kind of drew information, uh, inspiration from for this character? You know, I, I would say not from there, um, although I had some great professors there. I had a young philosophy professor guy who was really intense and I thought he was cool. And then there was this old, I guess, I didn't think about him much, but now that you bring him up, kind of crabby guy who lived with his mom. 
and an old dude. But no, I think that, that I drew really from myself and my own life to play Hank Devereaux in this show. I feel like you've been typecast as the crabby guy. You usually play the kind of like the thinker, the the, yeah, the stern guy. I think um, I don't think I've been typecast. I think this is pretty far different from Saw. I guess one of the things people maybe count on me for is to play a certain kind of internal turmoil that I can do or have within me. But I think that sort of carries through the movie Nobody, Better Call Saul. Lucky Hank, all those, I play a man who's got a lot of feelings inside it, maybe he hasn't dealt with. Ow! Let go of the notebook! It has original work in it. Uh, not if it's yours. Uh, yes! Ow! Oh, we're there on the red carpet. Look at John go. I love it. It, it looks like a little bit of office kind of thrown in there, too. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of those realistic type things. Okay, again, Lucky Hank premieres this Sunday. And keep an eye out for more South by Southwest coverage coming from us in the next few weeks. And for more information on Lucky Hank and South by Southwest, just head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code that you see right there on your screen. Ya no me importa nada. And the Tejano Music Awards fanfare right here at Market Square is happening right now through Sunday. We're going to check out some of the talent a little bit later on in the show. And do you know what your glucose levels are? National Diabetes Alert Day is coming up this month and University Health is helping out our community with important information you don't want to miss. It's next. Hi, Bob Odenkirk here. You're watching SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Diabetes Alert Day is coming up on March 28th. And the Diabetes Institute wants to remind everyone to get their glucose or sugar levels checked. And they're going to be doing it for free at a special event where you can get your questions answered by a university health physician who specializes in diabetes. And here with everything you need to know is dietitian and certified diabetes care and education specialist, Carly Hill. Welcome, welcome. Hi, nice. thanks for having me. All right, well, you've brought us examples of what we should be eating, yes. but we're gonna start with a look at what we shouldn't be eating, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we looking at right here? Okay, so when it comes to di having diabetes, diabetes or even having pre-diabetes, we really want to be careful with our carbohydrates. We need them because that's what our brain uses for energy, but you know, having too much will raise the blood sugar too much. So I have prepared here an example I think we're all very well familiar with here in South Texas. I'm guilty of it just as well, but this is an example of a, a meal that has 11 servings of carbohydrates. The average person really only needs about three or four servings per meal. Mm -hmm. And so this is an 11 serving <laughs> meal. So that's literally about two. And more carbohydrates that we have at one time, the higher our blood sugar will go. So sometimes it's better to make other choices when it comes to how much carbohydrate you have at a meal. Okay, and also with what you're drinking as well, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, a lot of people leave out there they don't think about the beverages that they consume actually raising their blood sugar too. What I like to refer to sodas as liquid candy, okay? Mm -hmm. Because that's just an example. We're looking at a common soda drink right here and that's the amount of sugar that's in it, right? Yes, and so this has 54 grams of carbohydrates. The average you know, meal, 60, so that's almost an entire meal in a bottle. All right, now let's move on to what we should be eating. Okay, so I prepared several different options and different styles. So this is gonna be an example of a one, two, three, three serving carbohydrate meal. It's, I think, you know, a bit more of a snacker. So if you're a grazer, this would be a good opportunity to, you know, control your carbohydrates um, without going over and if you want to snack or graze throughout the day. Okay. Okay. This one is one of my favorite breakfast options. We have whole wheat toast with some avocado or guacamole spread on top. Avocados are a really heart healthy fat, okay? Uh, also, the proteins coming from our eggs, we need to get protein in at every meal, but we also want to try and squeeze in some fiber. So with fresh fruits and vegetables, you're getting some fiber uh, with the nutrient benefits of carbohydrates as well. The avocado, that healthy fat, and like you said, the fruits, you know, that's like nature's candy. Yes. It can be your dessert, exactly, right? You can exactly. start getting into that habit. Okay. I, love, I love using fruit as a dessert. This is going to be an example of a plant-based carbohydrate 
controlled meal. So we have one, two, three servings of carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and everything except for the meat is, is plant-based. So you can get your carbohydrates. It doesn't have to be from breads, pastas, rices. You know, you can get them from your starchy vegetables and your fruits as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, and a couple more. I know I disappointed people on the enchilada example, but here's a prime example of something you can order at a Mexican food restaurant and still be within your carbohydrate load. So this has three, ser four servings of carbohydrates on it, and again. Your dessert is your is your fruit. Okay. All right. And so, real quickly before we go, tell us about what is happening on March 28th. Okay. On March 28th at the Texas Diabetes Institute, Alpha of 701 South Zarzamora Street, we're having a pre-diabetes class that's open to the public. Uh, we're also going to have one of our physicians, who's an expert in the field, be, be there so people can ask him questions that they have about diabetes. And then after that, you can get your blood sugar checked by one of our nurses. And the, our team of dietitians also came up with a bunch of different snacks for people to try uh, balanced, healthy, you know, carbohydrate-controlled snacks. And you want to go ahead and reserve your yes. spot because seating is limited. So don't forget about that free community event for Diabetes Alert Day. It's from 9 to 11. 11 a.m. March 28th at 701 South Zarzamora. For more information, all you have to do is call 210-358-7500. Scan that QR code on your screen or go to university.health or university, excuse me, universityhealth.com slash diabetes. Thank you so much, Carly. Thank you. All right, stick around. We're going to be, well, I say we, probably just me, okay, handling some of the snakes from Texas Reptile Expo. Uh, Mike, where, where'd you go, Mike? Mike? Next, we get a special performance from a Tejano Music Awards fanfare artist. The event is happening today through Sunday. Come and check them out. Well, it's an annual event celebrating Tejano music, and it happens every year right here at Historic Market Square. And we are talking about Tejano Music Awards Fanfare. And here with what you can expect this year is Alicio Leal, who is the creator and host of El Tejano Dance Party on KLMO Radio. Welcome, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. You thank know you, it's you. a huge event when you see everything getting set up here in Market Square. I tell you what, and you can smell the three pas and the menu and the tacos and everything else that they sell. It's a fantastic time of year. This is the season for Tejano music. It happens every spring. Spring break, Texas spring break, and happens right here at Market Square. So besides all the great food, what can fans expect? Well, I'll tell you what, there's going to be over 150 bands on five plus stages, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's all free. Uh, it's a family event, so bring out the kids. They've got, you name the kind of food you want to eat, they've got it out here. But the best thing is you get to see not only the court, the Hano artists that you're probably familiar with, but you see, get to see all the young up and coming artists that haven't made a name for themselves yet. Every the Hano artist that is a big name has come through the Hano Music Awards fanfare and so that's what this offers this weekend. So somebody you see today you may be getting around and the songs down the road a little bit. Somebody you okay. see today you probably won't be able to see in a couple years because they're going to be too big. <laughs> At least not for free. So right? see them now. And the connection to KLMO in your show. Okay so uh, I host at the Hano Dance Party on KLMO 98.9 in San Antonio's 92.1. We're San Antonio and uh, we're one of the uh, stations that uh, is honored to be out here with the Hano Music Awards uh, Texas Talent Musicians Association. Uh, we're the driving Force for Tejano in the United States, I think, at this point in time, because our morning show is broadcast across the world, not only on the air, but on Facebook, and we have thousands of uh, views every day, and we push new Tejano music and uh, traditional Tejano music and everything under the Tejano sun, and that's our connection, as uh, we're here supporting our local artists and our, our, uh, our Tejano artists, so thank you for coming out, coming out, have fun with us. All weekend long, former Case Ed employee, by the way, yeah, that's right. that one in here, Tejano yeah. Music uh, Awards Fanfare is going on today through Sunday. Again, right here at Historic Market Square, you can find more information online. We have a link on our website, SALive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Right now, here's a preview of some of the Tejano music you will hear during the event. Here's a special performance by Cesar Omar and Stephanie Montiel.
necesito about to have a slithering good time with our scaly friends here from the Texas Reptile Esco Expo. Oh, gee, Mike, it's, com it's coming for you. He's coming for you, Look Mike. Look, actually had to stick it. Oh, seriously? See? Look at that. Oh, it listens to me. <laughs> Why did it look at me? <laughs> okay, well, they may not seem as friendly as a puppy or cat, but now, now, Mike, reptiles need their love too, okay? okay go ahead. <laughs> Lane Eaton from the Texas Reptile Expo joins us with a few snakes. And Curtis, uh, and Curtis of course, welcome, gentlemen. Uh, that you can find at their upcoming event. Always okay? a pleasure to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, he's always so happy, especially yes. now, what are you holding? What I'm holding is a uh, ball python, this is one of the morphs. This is called a mimosa. It's a designer morph by breeding different morphs oh. together to produce this. Wait a second, is it like the labradoodle of, of, of snakes? Almost. Almost? Okay. Okay, and is it mimosa because of the coloring? The coloring. Okay. Good God. Okay. And, and who is that? That? Who is this that? This is his girlfriend. Oh. This is. You know, an adult ball python or a small python, they get four to four and a half feet. Okay. And they make very good pets, they're very gentle snakes, but they need to be kept warm. These are tropical snakes, so 80 to 85 degrees. But for some reason, they love human contact and they just sit in your hands. Oh, yeah. And this one's called a pastel. Mm -hmm. And being a python, they wrap around and squeeze. So, yes, yeah. they do. Um, okay. Now, the other one that you have here is court snake. And these are two snakes, if you wanted to start owning a snake, right? easy to have, right? These are the two species that we recommend. The one thing is these need to be kept warm. Your corn snakes, where are you going, buddy? Uh, I'm, I'm watching. Mm -hmm. Your corn snakes are native to the United States, and they come in over 150 colors. This is a snow corn, so it's in the albino complex. It has the red eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, what's good about these is they don't need the heat that these require. These are native to the U.S. They do well at room temperature. Now, if somebody was gonna get a snake though, these are not things where it's just put it in a fish bowl, in a fish tank, and look at it. it this is like owning a dog or a cat, yeah, right? Exactly, these are forever pets. And it's just like owning a dog or a cat. If you're looking for a certain species of snake, get on the internet, Google a care sheet for them to see what it takes to keep them healthy because you said a lot of times, I mean, people will get a snake for a small child, and then it's like a year later going, hey, can you take this off my hands? We don't we want We get a lot of adoptions because they buy them for a five-year-old. They're taking care of the snake. I don't recommend reptiles for anybody under the age of nine. By the age of nine, kids are learning responsibility. All right, okay. we got time for one more snake, so let's So Curtis's So Curtis's favorite snake, and is, all of these snakes, and while he's getting that one out of there, are going to be at the, uh, the, at the Expo. At the Reptile this. Expo, you can get snakes, lizards, turtles, tortoises. Uh, for the experienced uh, keepers, there are the larger boas and pythons, mm -hmm. and venomous If for the experienced keeper. Okay, and that's at the McQueenie, McQueenie Lions Club. This weekend. Saturday and, and Sunday from 10 to 5. Anybody can go there and yes. check it on out, 10 to 5, and that's at uh, 3211 uh, FM 78 at McQueenie. And before we go, Lane wants to give a quick shout out to all his other 
snake and reptile buddies out there because you lost a bunch of snakes due to an accident, right? We had a fire that we lost our entire collection, entire building. And I want to put a shout out, a big thanks to everybody in the herpetological community, breeders and promoters that came forth, giving us snakes, selling us snakes at a reduced price. Curtis lost 68 snakes. He's now back up to 67. Wonderful. Yes. And it was just a big thank you for everybody and that helped out. Once again, check them all out this weekend. If you'd like more information on the Texas Reptile Expo, head over to SALive.com. Click on the Ask on SA Live tab or just scan the snake on your screen right there. And I'm sure, oh, that QR code, I'm sorry. Yeah, down there. <laughs> Gentlemen, as always, thank you very much. All right, when we come back, we talk to a local roofing company that can help eliminate your energy bills all together. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, summer months are right around the corner and high energy bills are going to be a problem again very soon. But Roofix Solar Energy has a solution for you to help eliminate your energy bills all together. And here with us from Roofix today is CEO Dwayne Charping and President Daniel Trevino. Gentlemen, good to see you as always. Always, always. always. Thank you. All right, Dwayne, Roofix, the only roofing company in San Antonio that offers both roofing and solar systems. What makes Roofix unique as a solar installer? Well, you know, I think what makes it unique for us both being a roofing and solar company is there's no issues when it comes to who's going to warranty the panels, who's going to take care of it. But really, if you get into the depths of why roofers should be installing solar, is because we know how to do it much better. I mean, if you talk to somebody doing solar, they know nothing about a roof. And so when we tie it in, we make it look good. I mean, I hated solar when I first got in the solar business because it looks so ugly. Yeah. And that's why we offer a solar shingle. And when we do solar panels, we install like skylights, making the ultimate difference in the way it looks and how it will perform. Okay, you eliminate high energy bills for homeowners, yes, and you brought do. an example with you. And I did. So explain what's going on. Yeah, so actually, if, if you show this, it's actually my utility bill, and I was a skeptic at first about going solar, but I went ahead and put solar on my home and a brand new roof. And as you can see to this graph to the left, you have the before solar and then right after solar. And you can see a drastic reduction in the utility bill. I'm averaging between 10 and $15 a month by going solar. We had coupled that with blown insulation and other home improvement services. And I actually brought another bill with a nice customer here in Marion, Texas. We provided solar for her and her family. She's had a zero utility bill, actually a net negative bill, CPS is actually paying her because of, of a system called net metering. So because we built the system and because of how she's doing her load shedding, CPS is actually paying back on the utility. Now you are paying for the solar panels, that's but correct. that's an investment in your house. That's right. You, you it's not just that, going out the window. That's right. You lock in a low interest rate, you have something that's consistent month after month, and you don't have these fluctuation costs because energy costs are continuing to rise. Okay. And you were talking about the, as you said one time, kind of the big screen TV on top of your house there, the old solar panels. And this is yeah, actually right. a solar panel. Yeah, that's it it actually a shingle. So it looks really like it's part of the roof. You can walk on it. It looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but the best part is, is getting rid of that utility bill and having something that looks good and brings value to your home. And you know, we all reports will show you that you're going to get 100% value of installing this type of solar in your house. Okay. Right. And on top of that, you got you got a great deal going on. We right do. Now. We have an outstanding special. So for SA Live viewers right now, the first 20 callers who set up and sign up for solar, are, we're gonna pay their utility bill until the solar is installed. So zero utility bill until solar's on their roof. Sign the dotted line out. If there's a delay, something happens with the That's red exactly tape. That's exactly right. Red tape, uh, regulations, maybe there's a delay on shipments of material. We just want to get you used to done. never paying a utility bill again. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly All right. right. So yes. you're going to get with payment free for a long time. Yes. I like and, that uh, idea. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Once again, the first 20 callers who sign up to install solar with Roofix will pay, they will pay your electric bill until your solar is installed, guaranteed. Just give them a call at 210 Fix Roof. That is 210 349 7663. And for more information, of course, visit the website RoofFixSA.com. Gentlemen, good to see you as always. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, it of course is St. Patty's Day. And we get into the spirit of the day with a local Irish dance school. We learn a step or two and see these kids perform with the competition winning dance moves. Plus, it is a fun place to visit with the family or spring break. We had the camp hidden in the Texas Hill Country, filled with games and activities. There is so much to do and something for everyone. That's all tomorrow, 1 p.m. right here on SA Live.
earlier, we asked you, you know, it's a cold, Ooh. wet, rainy day. What do you like to do? Oh, who Jen. is that? Is that yes. John Jen? Oh, she's going to make us she's chili. She's going to make us chili. Yay. <laughs> Stay inside, watch a movie, take a long nap, have hot chocolate or a cappuccino. Yeah, Vicky's on my island. And enjoy Jen's chili. So, by the way, this, we didn't plan it with the color. We just great We minds. just knew. Get out of my head, Mike.